Hello and welcome back to Granted Gardens. We are back visiting some of our friends, the Stivers, for the weekend. And we've actually been invited to, to try out their Airbnb. So we're just pulling in. They're coming up here to greet us. And I'll show you guys around.
So this is our first full day here at this diver's cottage. Slash homestead. The diver's homestead. Which is right there. Yeah, right <laughs> behind us. So um, I've been doing my best to kind of give you guys an overview of some of the stuff that they've got here. A look inside the actual cottage. Um, we had a bonfire out here last night, so that was a lot of fun. Um, the view this morning, waking up and just looking out of the kitchen window at this gorgeous scenery that they have. Um, and what, what else I thought was really cool was like being able to hear the animals when you're like sleeping at night, you know, like you get the full experience coming out here. They are pretty quiet though. Don't make it seem like it's a wild west out here no. of farm animals. Normally during the night it's extremely quiet, but definitely once the sun is up, you can hear the guineas everywhere. Yeah. And it's <laughs> But they're soothing. fun. They make a cool sound. It's a very soothing um, sound. I think it's neat to be able to wake up to... Oh, my arm's getting tired. Uh, I think it's neat to be able to like hear all that stuff. Like you are really submerged in it here um it's an so, immersive experience yes so it's an immersive experience <laughs> for those of you guys that aren't familiar with what they've got going on here um the stiver homestead has this second house uh, in the back of their property that they are offering um through airbnb so you can come out here you can rent the house um for a little getaway uh they also have a few other packages that they offer with like farm tours and learning how to um, you know feed the animals take care of the animals you're getting an opportunity to go in and kind of check out the animals inside here their little uh, petting zoo um, and so this is just a really great experience if you guys have an opportunity to come out and uh, you're looking for a little getaway I highly recommend coming to this place you guys have to check it out and especially right now it's just such a beautiful time of year I've said that a hundred times but you know here in the fall and the leaves are just starting to change colors and the weather's getting just a little bit more crisp um, it's such an awesome opportunity for you to come out here uh, definitely check this place out we'll make sure that we put the link in the bio below
Walking, walking down. It's a little chilly. A little cold. Good morning, Dolly. Good morning. We're walking down. We're gonna eat breakfast. And I think we've got some little tasks that we're doing today, but I just love this view in the morning. Alright, so we got breakfast, we all got ready for the day, there's some tasks to be done as there always is on a farm, and you just saw a shot there of the boys starting to build nesting boxes uh, that the divers had, I think they're doing a video on it so they'll go in detail. Uh, as soon as they opened up that box I was like, nah, I can't. I can't help with this. <laughs> it's a lot of parts. So I asked the divers if it would be okay if I collected some walnuts um, while we were here. And so they have a ton of these trees throughout their property. Um, and it was something that I really wanted to try, but we don't have any uh, on our property at home. So I saw the abundance of these and asked if we could maybe scoop some up so that uh, I could try to take some home and maybe open them and use them. I don't know. I guess apparently that's a process too, but that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> you gotta try stuff or you'll never learn. <laughs> So what is it that I'm gathering here? These are walnuts. They grow here on this current tree. Like I said, the Stivers have a lot of them here on their property. Uh, this is what it looks like at first when it grows on the tree. Um, there's this outer coating here, this green that you see, that you're essentially going to peel away. So I found one here on the ground that looks like nature has started to peel it itself, so I don't have to do it here on film. Um, but you can see this green coating on the outside, and then you can kind of peel that off. And then on the inside is this nut, right? So you'd wash this up essentially, and I know like this is something that we used to see a lot like at Christmas time at grandma's house. I don't know if that like rings the bell to anybody, but to me it does. Um, they'd usually be sitting in like a little wooden bowl and then there was like a nutcracker next to it. So once you get to this point, you just crack it open like a nut and then inside it's gonna be walnuts. Um, this is also the same concept that you get, you can make stain from. So be careful because your fingers might change colors. Not a bad haul. Pretty excited to try this out. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> All right, well, I tried to go over there and help. I'm, I'm of no help. 
So we're gonna go on a little tour. Um, so yesterday, I believe it was, Tyler and Zach came out to the front garden here and Zach taught Tyler, even though it was like super simple, um, but some of his tips and tricks for their hoop houses for the winter. So I wanted to show you guys this because I think this is really awesome. Um, and I think it's something that we're, we might try and implement a little bit at home um, this year, maybe, I don't know. We're, we're gonna see. I feel like we probably have the majority of the stuff we could do it with. So here is the front garden. And for those of you that may not know what a hoop house is this concept here of uh, where you can put these little hoops up over top of your raised beds is what they're using here and then you take the plastic and you fold it over um, and it'll turn out looking like this and the concept there is that you can grow um, for a longer growing season so it'll keep the frost off of your plants so they've got um, I think greens a lot of green stuff over here you can see their lettuce which is massive um so they can go ahead and they can put this plastic over top and it'll continue to grow throughout the season because it's not being exposed to the weather quite as much now of course you still need to make sure that you're growing uh proper plants that can that can make it through this so stuff uh like summer stuff that you would necessarily plant in the summer uh, may not pull through on this um, but your cold crops so things like your lettuces or your root vegetables um, this is a really great way to keep them growing throughout the winter this here is what the stivers like to call their little petting zoo. They definitely got one of everything. Some multiples. The turkeys have been quickly become my favorite animal at this visit. Mm, second favorite animal. They're so cool though. Look at them. They're so big. My favorite animal is still the pig. Not very sociable, but adorable as always. So they've actually gotten quite a few new animals since the last time that we were here to visit. One of them is Tilly. Hey Tilly! And the absolute best part about all of this is that this is the view that you get every morning from this cute little cottage here on the hill. That is the Stiver's Cottage. Uh, that is in the Airbnb. And that's where Tyler and I have been staying for the last few nights. With this gorgeous, gorgeous view. Now, the other new animals that are here, that weren't here last time, are the cows, which is so cool. It's <laughs> so cool. Hi, are y'all just hanging out in here? Just hanging, staying cool in the shade. Hello. Hello. So the cows are a new addition since the last time that we were here. 
you saying hi for me? Very cool um, to be able to experience these kind of animals too. Um, it's always an absolute blast coming here and getting an opportunity to live and immerse yourself in this kind of a lifestyle. Um, obviously we have our own little homestead at home, but it is nothing compared to this. And it's absolutely amazing to be able to come here. We learn something new every single second of every single day that we are here. Um, it's great company, tons of friends, both people and furry animals. And it's a really, really great experience. So blessed, so blessed to be able to call these guys our friends. Another thing that's new here since the last time that we've been is the Stivers are working on opening up a little store here on their property where they're going to be able to sell some of their homemade stuff, homegrown stuff. Um, I think that there's been talk about a few special little additives in there as well. Um, but I just wanna give you guys a quick shot at this because this is really cool and exciting. This is something that we are so, so happy for them that they have like, taken this on and made it happen um so the concept here of the store now granted the store literally like just got here and settled uh not that long ago so it's still a work in progress um but the fact that it's here and they're making it happen i just think is so awesome so here's their store that's set up on the front entrance of their property so the driveway you can be able to drive in through here and there will be a parking area in here somewhere. And then you'll be able to come to the store, uh, visit their property, come to the store, shop and buy stuff that was made right here on their homestead. How cool is that? This is a representation of how this went. <laughs> oh. If you come over here, I'll help you swat flies. <laughs> yeah, let's see that. I don't know if that's going to go over too much rain and weather. The same about the right height? Mm -hmm. I say we love you. We're not going to do that. Anymore. You say until the next one, and I say bye. So we'll start with you. Quit changing my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's our last night. As always, we need to spend some time with quality friends. Enjoy the last few hours that we have left. Um, but um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We love y'all. Until the next one. Bye. And we look bye. forward to sharing more with you soon. <laughs> 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 <laughs>